John Hamm and John Slattery. The movie is Maggie Moores. It's in theaters and on demand Friday, June 16th. Ira Madison, the third <laughs> from People. Behind the Bar. Our new episode shot Wednesday on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Were you happy with the Orange County premiere? I was. Good. I was. Yeah. Tamara's doing a lot. She is, she, yeah. as she always does. <laughs> as she always does. Uh, you excited about the new Roni? I am. Good. I think Jenna Lyons is like an icon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. I'm very excited for your take on the new Roni. Well, I will. Let's let you go know. back to the virtual fans. Kelly and Sarah from Pennsylvania, what's your question for John Hamm? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Andy. Hi, Johns. How are you guys? Good. Hi. Also, we are also Team Gorga. Team Gorga. Okay. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Okay, John Hamm. Is it true you were in for the starring role of Gone Girl, but then it went to Ben Affleck? Couldn't do it because of the Mad Men role? Is that yeah, true? Yeah, I, I, I was uh, I was down uh, to the very end of that. It was that was uh, meant to be me, but we had to film uh, uh, the continuing adventures of Mr. Draper. So because uh, uh, the, the the main character in Gone Girl is from St. Louis, so yes, they, he they is. were excited yes. to have. Uh, Yes. And poor Ben, a Boston guy, had to wear a cardinal hat. He was yes. not very happy about it. That's rough. Here are Leslie and Taryn, all the way from Alaska, with a question oh, for John wow. Slattery. Hi, Alaska. Hi, guys. Hi. We're looking forward to BravoCon, Andy. We can't wait. It's closer to us this time. See you in BravoCon. Uh, do, you know there... Woo do you know if there are any plans for you to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe again to play Howard Stark? Hopefully sometime soon. Uh, no, not that I know of, sadly. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. Thank you, virtual fans. Um, before we let these two Johns go, we want to see how their opinions align in a game of agree or disagree, Mad Men edition. Okay, guys, I'm going to read a statement about your iconic show after I count one, two, agree or disagree. Flip your sign to reveal the side of your choice. We will see if your answers match. Here we go. Had they communicated more, Don and Betty could have made their marriage work. One, two, agree or disagree. Disagree. Elizabeth Moss has made the most money most amount of money post Mad Men. One, two, agree or disagree. <laughs> okay. Um, I can name all eight actors that played Bobby Draper throughout the series. One, two, agree or disagree. Okay. I like to believe that Joan and Peggy started their own advertising agency after the series wrapped. One, two, agree or disagree. They like to have believed that. I like that. Rachel Menken was a better match for Don than either Betty or Megan. One, two, agree or disagree? <laughs> no, you agree. You do agree. Okay. The Mad Men finale implied that Don Draper returned to work and created the most iconic coke ad of all time. One, two, agree or disagree? Yes, that is fact. Uh, the suitcase is the greatest Mad Men episode of all time. One, two, agree or disagree? It's, it's pretty good. Oh, Ira agrees. Ira says yes. Okay, Don never kept up with yoga and meditation after the series finale. One, two, agree. <laughs> Had he not been married, Pete and Peggy as a couple would have lasted. One, two, agree or disagree? Uh, sorry. Okay, Betty and Glenn Bishop's friendship was endearing and not at all creepy. One, two, agree or disagree? Okay, Peggy and Roger Sterling would have made a good couple. One, two, agree or disagree? That. No. Uh, the show jumped the shark when Betty got fat. One, two, agree or disagree? No, I like no, that. I love good. fat Betty. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations on the movie. Thanks, Ira. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.